In this episode of Cassia Styles, we'll leave Dar es Salaam and embark on a long voyage. We're off to South Africa, people. Our fusion efforts are finally rewarded. We perform some emergency repairs and find a spectacular anchorage between the sandbars and next to a floating forest. As the sun is rising over Dar es Salaam, we're preparing to start our return journey to South Africa. Our first leg is to Mafia Island. The thing is, the winds are still quite strong southeasterlies, which blows right from the direction we're going to. So we're up bright and early today, hoping to make some progress before the wind really picks up in the afternoon and makes our voyage wet and bumpy. Now while Richo wipes all the mildew off the boat, we're off to South Africa, people. Finally, it's been a Finally. long time. Shall we get going, please, Shane? The captain, the captain said we have to get going. We gotta get going. Hey, dudes, see you in South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it, Jenka. Let's hit the road. Bye, Dar es Salaam. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back one day. That's the oceanic swell coming in. Look at it rolling. No wind, but it's pouring in. We deployed the fishing rods and watched the sun coming up over the bay as we sailed past all sorts of boats, small, large, and extra large. As was forecast, the wind freshened, so we reefed the sails and enjoyed a smoother ride. Even though we were going at a decent pace, we still ended up doing a fair bit of tacking. So reaching Mafia Island before the nightfall was out of question. Anchoring for the night behind the sandbar seemed like a reasonable alternative to navigating through shallows of fishing traps. So we went ahead with it and discovered a spectacular spot. Nothing but a submerged sandbar and a bunch of trees growing out of the water. But surprisingly, this was sufficient to break up the swell. 67.6 miles we've done today. Not the intended mileage we wanted to go to Mafia Island. Um, but the reason is we were bashing into it a fair bit today, so we've decided to stop at this little sandbar. So we've just pulled up to here for the night. It's a place called Sukati, and we're right on it. Now that's not a reef, that's actually sand that we're on right now. 
And Mafia is all the way down here. Well, the reason you don't want to sail anywhere in Tanzania and Mozambique after dark is because of the fishing traps. Uh, fishermen just come along with these, because it's quite shallow here. And so they all set up the fishing traps through the night with a little Coke bottle. And we can't see it at night. So it's better off doing island hopping until we make, the ch make that change that we move out offshore. And then we can sail through the night. But when we're hugging the, the coastline, never sail at night. And that's what we're here for the night. And that's what we're here there for Mafia the second night. And then we have to figure out island hopping or we just cut straight across. That has to be near the ocean. We certainly couldn't complain. The following morning, the tide ebbed, revealing two islands and a semi-submerged forest. Tanzanian coast is abundant with these peculiar places. Sandbars, reefs and mangroves seemingly floating right in the middle of the ocean. The water in the channel is often quite shallow, and the large tidal range creates these extraterrestrial landscapes. When we left the anchorage in the morning, we discovered the sea was quite rough beyond the protection of those sandbars. We were just admiring the skill and the courage of the local fishermen when we heard a loud snap. That's a hide mate for me. Whoa! Oh. Alright, I can change this. I can change, I have a spare of those. Lucky, eh? Hey? Lucky I have a spare one. Head on there, it actually snapped the top of this head off. So the block goes flying and it becomes a projectile. Super duper dangerous. Um, so I said to Hayden, make me a spare one just in case. And I've got one. So I'm going to change it now. It's going to be an easy change. 10 minutes done. Before and after. We've got less than 10 minutes. Shall we try attack? Let's do it. Over there for? Maybe because he doesn't want to Oh, here water. he comes, he's swimming. Ready, Shane? Take the, the cork off the gaff. Oh. Oh. Holy oh cow! Holy cow, it's big! Baby. He is a barracuda, look at the size of that teeth! Oh. Oh. Holy cow! Austin. Holy cow! Holy cow! Look at this! Oh my god, he weighs a ton! Oh. Um, you bleeding? Yeah, I'm bleeding, Shane. What, what happened? So he flicked out of my hands and his teeth just scratched me. So he pretty much bit me. Bit you? Yeah, and with these by these. Wow. Yeah. Oh shit, it hurts! Barry the Barracuda may have bitten Richard. But Richard won the fight, and Barracuda's tail became our new trophy. 
Oi, thumbs up. The rest of our journey to Mafia Islands was pleasantly uneventful, and we arrived at the anchorage on Kilindoni as the sun was setting, and the fishermen were heading out to sea. All done, anchored, we're in Mafia Islands. And not the Mafia you're thinking about, I don't know why they call it Mafia, but this is Mafia Islands. <laughs> Old Capone style. First leg of our return journey to South Africa is complete. Off we go, bye Tanzania. Immigration is actually closed today because it's Saturday. I think it's gonna be a no.